hey youtube welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my first impressions of the two new body mist collections that just dropped at victoria's secret so if you guys are interested in seeing what my thoughts are then keep on watching if you are new to my channel welcome on this channel i talk about all things smell good so if you're into smelling good go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you are a returning viewer hey it is so good to see you all right you guys so it took forever for my store to get these in stock and i don't even know if these are showing up on the website as of yet i haven't checked this morning it might be on the website now but y'all i don't know what's going on with this some stores have them some stores don't i don't know the correct terminology for either one of these collections but i know the first one we're going to talk about kind of has this ombre effect and the one that we're going to start off talking about is berry brulee and i didn't get all the lotions to go with all of these body mist i only got two but this is one of the ones that i did pick up the lotion in because the packaging kind of is giving you know apple picking in the fall time in this one you have notes of shaved chocolate and jasmine petals and then on the back it says you have some juicy red fruits and when i read those notes i was thinking ooh, chocolate and berries so maybe like you know chocolate covered strawberries or some type of berries i remember what i was picking up in the store but i'm curious to see if i'm getting the same type of notes now that i have it home oh okay y'all that's completely different than what i picked up in the store yesterday hold on let's put this one on my skin and then i'm gonna tell y'all what i think oh my gosh you guys okay so in the store i picked up a whole bunch of that chocolate right in the beginning there's a little bit of chocolate all the way in the background but now y'all this is very berry forward Oh yeah, and think almost along the lines of like a Eden Juicy Apple by Kaoli. So if you like that fragrance, this one will go really nicely with that. If you're going into it thinking this is going to smell like chocolate covered anything, it's not going to smell like that. Yeah, I, I don't even really get any chocolate anymore. I don't know if they make these in different batches. Maybe some of them are a little bit more chocolate forward and then the other ones are more fruit forward. But this one, at least, from what I'm getting... It's all about the berries in here with a splash of chocolatiness in the background. Let me spray this on me one more time because maybe those first couple squirts just are a little bit juicier. No, you guys, this is very berry forward. Okay, so it makes sense that it's called berry brulee and I do like this one. It's just really interesting because y'all, this smelled so different in the store yesterday. So I don't know if this has to sit a little bit and then maybe that chocolate note will be a little bit more pronounced. And also the jasmine in here, I don't pick up on that jasmine at all. Not even in the dry down. So if you're not a floral girl, don't let this one scare you. Yeah, it could have been a little bit more chocolatey, but I love berries, so I don't mind this. In comparison to some of our other chocolatey body mist um like hot cocoa and cream doesn't smell anything like that hot cocoa and cream is a very literal hot chocolate with marshmallows whipped cream type of fragrance very chocolatey and just yummy gourmand and the only other one that i can think that has chocolate in it from the victoria's secret side is the mint chocolate chip one chocolate mint mint chocolate the one that was in the green bottle i should have brought it out but these two don't smell anything alike either that one is like a mint chip like a girl scout like mint chocolate chip cookie fragrance again this was just about the berries so if you're looking for chocolate it's not this one but i still do think this is really good maybe the cream is a little bit more chocolate forward i'm just so thrown off because yesterday y'all i promise you i was getting way more chocolate and i was thinking that this was going to pair i was going to give you guys a few fragrances that it was going to go really well with but now that i'm not getting that chocolate i'm not going to give you all those fragrances okay so this is a little bit more chocolatey but no it's still about the berries in here you guys i do pull a little bit more of the jasmine on my skin in the body lotion too that's really interesting but Overall, I think it's a nice scent. I think it's perfect for right now, perfect for the fall time. It's just missing more of a chocolatey, deep, rich, and decadent touch to it. So once again, this is Berry Brulee. The next fragrance that we're going to talk about in that collection is called Amber Aperitif. And that is a very interesting name. Not very familiar with what Aperitif is, but I really do like this whole ombre look with this one the main notes in this one is agave nectar magnolia musk and then 
on the back it also says you have some smoked liqueur so based off of these notes i was thinking this is going to be kind of a floral slightly sweet smoky type of fragrance i was really shocked about this one when i smelled it let's see if i'm getting the same thing that i got in the store because i didn't expect this one to smell like this at all yeah y'all okay so i don't get any smokiness from this one you guys not even a little bit well maybe in the dry down something smoky happens there but y'all y'all know what this reminds me of it just reminds me of some good old baby powder reminds me of my childhood and the women in my life just putting powder all over their body and whatnot <laughs> so i you know if you like smelling like baby powder then i think you would really like this one but this is not one that i got a lotion in because i just i think this one is a little bit more subdued than i was hoping for and it's it's a little boring it's just not giving a whole lot of anything i'm not getting the sweetness from that nectar that magnolia i mean maybe there's some type of floraliness in here but i'm i'm really not getting that magnolia at all y'all i think the musk is giving off this powdery effect <sighs> but i have enough musk fragrances in my collection and i really don't want to put on a fragrance that's gonna make me smell like baby powder to me, it's a very linear type of fragrance. Did we really need this one in the collection? I mean, yes and no. It's not anything superb or that really stands out. However, if you like fragrances like ivory cashmere, all those type of just very soft, fluffy, powdery fragrances, I think you would like this. Really pretty packaging, but you know, it's just okay. So once again, this is Amber Aperitif. Next we have Sugared Petals. Very girly, pretty packaging. And anytime I see that there's some type of sugary anything in any of them notes, I always get excited. So in this one, you have main notes of Sweet Macaroon and Shimmering Woods. And then on the back, it says Delicate White Florals Adorn Golden Macaroons. And then it, it says Enjoy. You know, they have these weird sayings on the back. <laughs> I was really curious about this one because Victoria's Secret has given us a few macaroon fragrances and macaroon can be very prominent and a little too much at times. But because this one has that added shimmering woods notes and the florals, I was like, okay, you know what? This one, this one is going, it's going to be interesting. And you guys, I love this. This is really pretty. It smells familiar to something. Hmm. You know, smelling this one in the cap. Oh, well, that's okay so i'm getting something different from this one too today y'all okay so i'm gonna spray this one on me okay so that was weird in the cap y'all this one was giving the original warm vanilla sugar from bath and body work to vibes but that's just in the cap i'm gonna spray just a little bit more on my hand Oh my goodness, y'all. So the macaroon in here is like a delicate, oh, soft, subdued type of macaroon. It's not like the pink macaroon that they have from the pink side, right? That one is very prominent, sometimes a little too deep and rich. This one is not that. This one is more of a fluffy, airy take on a macaroon. Oh, you do get a little touch of those white florals in here, but it's not overly floral. Oh, and then the woods in here, y'all, is very nice. It's almost like a sparkly macaroon type of scent. It's soft. Oh, that is really, really pretty, you guys. It's a different take on macaroon. Almost reminds me of a macaroon cookie with a little bit of vanilla icing on top. Oh, yeah. Very soft, comforting, cozy. Yeah, this is going to be really pretty for the fall time. I would start wearing this right now too, maybe at night. Mm. So this is my second favorite. When I smelled this in the store yesterday, this almost came off kind of like a, like a lemon cookie. Yeah, I was getting some type of citrusiness from it in the store. Now I'm not really getting that. I'm getting just like a, like a vanilla cookie pastry type of take on it. And because of that, this is one of my favorites. Did I get the, I didn't get the lotion to this one. But I may go back and get that one because I'm really curious to see if that one is going to be 
more so dominant on the macaroons or the woods or what but yeah that sugariness in here is coming off very vanilla to me and because of that i really do like that so i think this one is a really nice one so once again this is sugared petals and yeah i would suggest this one for you guys especially if you like gourmand fragrances and then last but not least y'all this is the one i feel like everybody wanted to get their nose on because of the main note in here <laughs> and this is pistachio creme and another pretty ombre like bottle and i also got the matching lotion to go with that one these are the only two lotions that i got this one and then the berry one and the main notes in this one are vanilla glaze and solar musk and then on the back it says rich pistachio kisses decadent candied almonds so i'm like oh you have a whole lot of Sharosa 62 type of notes up in here <laughs> but because it says that you have some candied almonds in here I was hoping that this would be a different take and didn't smell like that one so I had very very high hopes for this one y'all mm, and it didn't disappoint you guys it did not disappoint but I am getting a whole lot of Sharosa 62 up in here but in a different type of way. It more so reminds me a little bit more of Finery's Pistachio Please. This is supposed to be a dupe for Sharosa 62, but I feel like this is more of a soapy, fluffier take on Sharosa 62. And because of that, I would say that these two smell a little bit more similar to my nose than this one does to the original Sharosa 62. But if you like Sharosa 62, there's no way you're not gonna like this one. This one to me though is more of a creamier take. Think more so, doesn't smell like it, but think how fluffy and like soft Yum Pistachio is from Kaali. This one's more soft, delicate, and creamy like that one. And the main notes that I'm picking up on this one mm, is a lot of that vanilla mixed with the pistachio. The almond is toned down. It's You do get a little bit of a nuttiness from it because of the mix of the pistachio and that almond, but it's more about the pistachio in here and that vanilla glaze. Mm -hmm. You get a whole lot of glaze. And it's another one that kind of reminds me more of a like pistachio cookie. Oh yeah, y'all, this is really nice. I don't feel like this is redundant to my Sharosa 62 or to my Finery or any of them other ones. It's smooth, y'all. Ooh, gourmand lovers are gonna really like this, but you know who else is also gonna like this? People who aren't really into gourmands like that. They like a touch of sweetness. Yeah, I think that this one is kind of gonna be a universal type of fragrance. And I can even see women and men wearing this one because it just smells like a yummy pistachio pastry with some vanilla glaze on top. All of these are very soft. They stick very close to your skin. Most of these for me are gonna be fragrances that I'm gonna wear in the house or if I'm maybe just doing light errands. These are those type of fragrances, perfect for snuggling. This one and sugared petals, perfect snuggle and cuddly type of fragrances. Okay, so if I had to rank them, of course, my favorite would be pistachio creme because this one is a beautiful take on pistachio. Oh, but it's just creamy and just smooth and I really do like that one. My next favorite would be sugared petals because this is also giving me kind of like a cakey touch and mm, I really, I really do enjoy this one. So it would be this one first and then this one in third place would be the berry brulee because i'm hoping that that chocolate note is going to get a little bit deeper as this one sits but if it doesn't i love berries so that would be in third place and then last but not least y'all would be this amber aperitif because you know it's if you don't want to have a whole lot of fragrance on it's nice but it just it it smells like baby powder to me and i just you know i don't want to smell like baby powder all the time I have to be in the mood for it. Maybe I'll feel a little bit differently when it's not as hot out. It's 100 degrees today. And I'm just I'm just not craving this. But maybe in the fall time, I'll want to pull it out some more. But this one is for sure in last place. Okay, moving on to the next collection. We only have three body mists and we're going to go a little bit faster with this one. So this one, I don't know what this one's called. It's something having to do with the Texas Hold'em or, you know, rodeo riding. It's that collection. <laughs> the first one we're gonna talk about in this collection is 
rodeo night. And on the front of this one, it says you have some country jasmine and some amber santal. And on the back, it also says you have some sparkling gardenias. And based off of these notes, I was thinking, you know, okay, we're gonna have a nice floral fragrance on our hands here. And yeah, this reminds me of a very pretty, pretty girl that is just very sweet and just really, really nice. <laughs> That's what this one reminds me of. And she just smells very pretty and inviting all the time. That's what this is. So I get a whole lot of those florals in here. If you're not into Jasmine, you may not like this one, but I do think that the amber in here keeps this from being way too like mature floral leaning and just too florally period. And I do really like it. I don't think it's something that we've never smelled before. Oh yeah, y'all just pretty soft and airy. Perfect, just on the go, getting your nails done, going to a spa type of fragrance. Very inoffensive. It will leave a really nice, soft, girly trail. So once again, this is Rodeo Nights. I do like it. Okay, so these next two, y'all, they both remind me of two fragrances. And the first one is Texas Hold'em. And the main notes in this one is Desert Vanilla and Southwest Cedar. And y'all, I'm gonna just spray this one on me because I wanna see if I'm getting, again, what I got yesterday in the store. Okay, yeah. So, y'all, yeah, the first thing that came to mind <laughs> when I smelled this one, very much so in that opening. Now, the dry down might be a little bit different, but in that opening, if you've ever smelled the original Daisy by Marc Jacobs, this one puts me in mind of that one. It also kind of puts me in mind of a Chance Au Tendre by Chanel, but this one's a little bit more floral. Yeah, this one's a little bit more floral. This one's more so the original Daisy. So if you like that, it gives off the same type of vibe. Not exact, but it's it's really reminding me of that one. And I used to have that one in my collection. I don't have it anymore. Every time I smell that one though, I think it smells so beautiful on women when I do smell it out and about. And this one immediately made me think of that. Okay, so I would say this is a floral green type of fragrance because of that cedar wood. So you have to like green fragrances and floral fragrances. And again, if you know what that fragrance smells like, I think you would really like this one. It's soft, very pretty, very pretty. I could see someone wearing this one on a date night. And I'm really happy to have this one back in my collection because I really have missed the original Daisy in the spring and the summer because it's just such a easy reach. And my nephews love that fragrance on me whenever I would wear it. So yeah, it's nice to have a scent profile in my collection like that one again, since I don't have that. So once again, this is Texas Hold'em. I do like this one too. And last but not least from that collection, we have Let's Go Girls. Such a cute name. And I think this one, mm, this one's probably my favorite packaging because I like pink. Well, either this one or this one. I think both of these are really pretty. And this one has notes of pink suede and cactus flower. And you also have some wild flowers in this one. And y'all, I don't know what I'm smelling anymore. I have so many different things on, but I just kind of want to spray this one over here. Actually, you know what? This one is not reminding me of what I was getting yesterday either. Y'all, I don't know what's happening, but when I sprayed this one in the store, this one kind of made me think of Daisy Oh So Fresh. But now that I'm smelling this one and this one side by side, this one is still a little, this one's too green to smell like that, but it puts me in mind of a fragrance like that. This one for sure reminds me of the original Daisy. And with this one, it's a little sweeter in that opening and you get just a more of a softness. I do like it. I really do like, I like all of these, but I love me a good floral moment. I like really girly, soft, very feminine fragrances. And y'all, you have to spray these on your skin to see what it's giving, because I'm telling you, in this cap, as this one's drying down, it's giving me more and more Daisy Oh Fresh, like how I smelled it in the store. But then on my skin, I'm not getting that at all. I'm picking up a whole bunch of the pink suede, and those wild berries. I would describe it as like a sweet, slightly floral type of body mist. But overall, if I had to rank these, I don't know, they're all giving just soft, girly, feminine type of vibes. And I actually could have seen these more so come out in the springtime versus right now going into 
the colder seasons well you know we still have a couple months left of the summer but i feel like these should have came out in the springtime versus the summertime because of how soft and floral they are i don't mind them though i don't want to rank them because i do like them all equally i really am not disappointed with any of them if you're looking for a collection that is a little bit more diverse and has you know gourmand touches to it then i think the first collection is your best bet Whereas with this one, this one's kind of one dimensional because they all kind of have a similar floral, soft, very feminine type of vibe to them. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are all of my thoughts on these brand new body mists from Victoria's Secret. I think my favorite collection is this one because it's got more gourmands. Overall, I think the pistachio and the sugar petals is my favorite between both of these collections but as usual i'm really curious to know what you guys think about these collections so do you guys like this collection or do you think it's too redundant and are you guys satisfied with the gourmand collection and if you pick them up which ones are your favorite which ones are your least favorite let's talk about it if you guys did like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and if you're not subscribed subscribe and as usual take care of yourself god bless you all and i will see you on the next one Bye.